we hey, keep like on... cut a deal straight with Eddie Hearns. It probably doesn't cost that much to buy Sky Sports, right? Just buy anything Eddie puts on. You got Lenara's Corolla too. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. And then you stack the card on top Cal of it. Cal Brook versus Khan looks like a go. If that doesn't happen, on. yeah, if that doesn't happen, it looks like Cal Brook will be fighting Spence out there in the UK anyways and still do 80,000. Spence, Eroy Spence could never pull in 80,000 in America. That's a joke to even say that. In the UK, it might happen. Yeah, England might. I'm saying this right now. Right now. Manchester, uh, the arena out of uh, out on the field, like between the heavyweights. Joshua and... Klitschko did like eighty thousand and two. They're going to do crazy numbers in England this year. Everybody, mark my words. Eddie Hearn has got the England English crowd dialed in on a national level. They're doing great numbers on Sky Sports. And what's his model? Find a guy to fight the guy, and then stack the cards. He's already got they, they, for for Triple G. They already have Billy Joe Sanders and, and Chris Eubank Jr. ready to make both of those tickets hot. He, Triple G can fight any one of those two and put 40000 in arena easily. Easily. And I'm, I'm lowballing it with 40000 That's like a and dream. We're struggling. Yeah, that's a- <laughs> literally, here we are, day one, because it just came out on social media today. They're struggling. Like, we put it off for the holidays. Now we're going to talk Kovalev Ward rematch. Like, what's the struggle here? Just pick a date in May and make the fight happen. Ward like wants to retire. Was... Andre Ward is seriously considering retiring right now. He should. He should. I, I don't think. I cannot begin to tell everybody, if anyone who's listening, and, and I'm sure you saw this. I got so much freaking hate for us saying that Ward was the fighter of 2016. Like, I could not even believe the blowback on it. How, oh, I didn't score the fight that way. I didn't see the fight that doesn't matter scorecard at the end of the day went to andre ward he has not lost since he was 13 years old he won the super six and now he beat the definitive lineal guy in his division like what more does this guy have to do like i don't care if that was his only fight in 2016 that made him the fight pound for pound the fighter number one and the fighter of the year and you know what everybody well he didn't win decisively doesn't matter that's not how it works You guys didn't say that bullshit every time Mayweather had a close fight. Right. You didn't. Nobody did. Yeah, he had like, what did, what did and Mayweather keep... in his last run? He had a split decision against Cotto. He had a majority decision against Madonna. Oscar De La Hoya, like at 37. <laughs> I was so <laughs> shocked at people Oscar. not respecting what Andre Ward. I was blown away. Like, I spent most of my time responding on the message boards to people who just wanted to explain to me why Ward wasn't the man in the Kovalev fight. First of all, if you had paid for the Kovalev fight, maybe I would give you the position to comment on it. But based on the numbers, all of you just should shut the fuck up. You downloaded it after the fact and watched it. Okay, you didn't see it when it happened. Yeah, some probably just went off of reports, Lee. Right, right. And here's the reality. Uh, now you guys all want the fight again. If I was Andre Ward, I'd retire and I'd be the GOAT. Okay? That's it. You know, it's a tough one. It is a real tough one to... Listen, Lee. All he has, has to, to back do, up some real money. Oh, yes. That's what happen. I was going to say, man. All he's got to do is cash checks now. The, the hard part, in outside looking in, obviously, I don't know his injury. I don't know his personal life. The hard part's over. Kovalev was it, man. That was the test you needed to pass. And in my eyes, you pass with flying colors. You're going to slap the shit out of this man again in the rematch. The hard part's over. Chavez Jr., Gilbert Ramirez, Triple G, Canelo. Are you serious? None of these guys are a How threat. How is Triple G not fighting Chavez Jr.? Oh, Chavez Jr., there's there's news that oh, there's news. Chavez Jr. That fight happen. versus Canelo will be announced here shortly, Lee. They're, they are floating that fight around with some serious negotiating because they're going to break records. That fight right now, what Chavez Jr. is asking for and what Canelo makes under Golden Boy, because Golden Boy showed Golden Boy don't pay Canelo shit. I don't I don't know what he's making in Mexican television, but he don't make anything here in the States. That fight's going to do two million. They're, they only have to pay these guys like 10, 12. They'll do two million buys. Easy, easy. So right now, look for Canelo to move to 165 to fight Julio Cesar Chavez in May. 
Um, yeah. Triple G will stay in the UK. He'll he'll either take he should oh, stay he's there taking forever. on he's taking on Danny. Excuse me, people. Danny Jacobs is already signed. New York. That's an awesome fight. I'm telling you right now. I think Danny Jacobs is going to come out like the old Hagler, the old Hearns. I think this boy is here to bring it. That's all he's saying on social media. He's going for broke on this one. And he has the power to do it. Lee, he, he flatlined Peter Killen. Everyone thought Peter Killen was a future. Everyone thought he was the, the guy that was going to give Triple G the match. Danny Jacobs flattened him in, what, six minutes? Yeah. Hey, that's a great fight coming up. We don't know what's going to happen. You know, I seen Kel Brook take off on Triple G. I don't know if he could take that same uppercut from Danny Jacobs, who has decent power. Great fight. You got Canelo Chavez uh, negotiating now. That's a great fight. Tyson Fury's finally getting his head right. He's coming back. And then we have the WBC heavyweight champ, who said he wants to fight everybody. But his first opponent, he wants to be Joseph Parker. Yeah, right. What a right. fucking surprise. <laughs> it's The weakest link in the division. That's the guy you're calling out for the first part of 2000. And don't even give me his opponent. I, I don't know if you have the scale. He's already got his first comeback fight in Alabama uh, set up. Some, He's not fighting. Yeah, no, I, I've, I've, I've. The name is slipping me right now, but it's some it nobody. Matter. Nobody. It's some nobody. nobody. And then he wants. He's not even in the top. 20. And then he wants to follow that up with Joseph Parker, who everyone didn't even think beat Ruiz. Ah, love them PVC guys. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Uh, listen, we need them. You know the biggest news of the day, Andrew. Go ahead, drop one. Shannon Briggs, Fresno Kendo, ordered for the ba- vacant WBA oh. title. How the fuck does Fred's Quendo still get shots, Lee? No this shit, is right? Bullshit. This is such. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and by the way, for anybody who doesn't really understand this, this is why it's equally insulting. The WBA title is the lineal champion that dates back to Ali. It's the belt. It's yeah. It's the exactly. belt. Exactly. Yeah. It's the belt that was worn by the man number who was one. the belt. The number- this is the Rumble in the Jungle belt. This is the real deal. <laughs> That's insane. You know, Shannon Briggs was going to get a shot here. The, the guy is huge. Somebody was. Yeah, he's huge on social media. I can't believe it's Fred's Quindo that's getting the shot, though. He's going gonna... to. It's, it's been ordered to be bid. It's a purse bid. It's happening. Shannon Briggs will be the heavyweight champion of the world again, I guess. Oh, no doubt. No <laughs> doubt. WBA world. And he will get his fight with Klitschko. His first. If he's smart, his first fight, because the next person who really can fight will take him out. So if he's smart, yeah, he takes he's freaking old. He takes, <laughs> right. So he takes a huge payday, right? And takes the uh and takes the uh Klitschko fight right after he comes off his fight Jocelyn. in England. Oh. He'll he'll make unreal but he'll make ten million he, ten to twenty he's million. Definitely, you're right. He's definitely taking on the winner of Klitschko Joshua. You could just of say course. it like that because that guy. And then we're done by the summer. Here's exactly how it winds up for the first quarter. Klitschko is going to win. Okay. All of you in England, back down. Get out. Like, I th- I love all of you guys thinking that you've got a, a young Evander Holyfield and this is going to be an. No. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Klitschko's going to train. Okay. And he's going to win because. He's fucking Ivan Drago. The, he always has been Drago. And the road is got, the road is pretty easy if he gets by Joshua. Are you like Briggs Joshua and Wilder? The hardest fight on the schedule. Yep. Okay. Right. Then before summer, trust me when I say this, I guarantee this. By August, he will have a match, probably in Vegas, against the winner of. Okendo Briggs. Uh, I would imagine it's going to be Shannon Briggs who wins that fight. Uh, I I can't see how it would be any other way, but I could be wrong. I mean, Frez has been around since, you know, there was dirt, I mean, in the ring. I, you know, they, I think he fought Jack Johnson. I'm not sure that's how long Frez Okendo's been around. I I mean, Lee, seriously, you you... did Okendo fight uh, Dempsey or Jack Johnson? I mean, that's. (laughs) literally how like i looked at the photo of him and he's got bigger man moves than 
than uh, than uh, what's his name had uh, Bernard had in his fight. Lee, right now, you got Klitschko taking on an undefeated Joshua, which is great. Eighteen and zero. Say he does win that fight. He just took an eighteen and zero guy out. So then he's going to follow that up with what possibly another title match would be the winner of Shannon Briggs and uh, and um, Quindo, Fres Quindo. Right. The next two champions is 37 and 0 Deontay Wilder and 22 and 0 Joseph Parker. And why I say that there is no way in my mind. There's literally no way in my mind. And I'm being legit. No way Deontay Wilder wants a piece of Shannon Briggs or. Klitschko. But they might they might offer so much money to these guys because Klitschko. No, again, it's that whole bullshitty thing about the PBC. Uh, Lee, we're the talking, PBC will never let them fight. We're talking heavyweight money though. We're ta- and mm. you got to remember, we don't know what what the PBC still has here lined up for 2017. I don't know if they're going to. I'm telling you, based on the fights they got lined up, this is their final year in business. That's, I don't. Yeah. And, and I'm telling you that there's rumors that Thurman versus Garcia is still being shopped around. It possibly lands on Showtime. It is not even going to be a PBC event um, because we don't know how their lawsuits are going, both with their own investors and with the De La Hoya loss class lawsuit he has on them. So I, um, He's got a real Klitschko or Joshua has a real good opportunity of having three opponents lined up, two of them being undefeated and being what, maybe a 10 to 1, 12 to 1 underdog? Mm. You you're taking in belts, you're cashing checks, you're knocking out undefeateds, and for they weren't even a threat. These guys, Deontay Wilder is not a threat until you fight someone who's in the top five, bro. You cannot be considered a threat. I'm sorry. You, you were- Andrew, this note just in. Go ahead, this, yeah, what is it? Mickey Rourke is come is making a boxing comeback. Oh, I, you know what? Isn't it in Germany or something like this? I don't know. He's sixty four. Yeah, it's fucking. I mean, insane. you know what? Honestly, based on Frez and no, <laughs> he can fight on the undercard, no and, doubt about that. And and when his last fighter came out to be an actor, didn't he fix his last? Exactly. Fight? You got to tell him to step away, man. I, I don't believe anything that I'm seeing out of Mickey Rourke's fights anymore. Um, Cause the, the last fighter literally came out on social media and said it was all staged. He was an actor, blah, blah, blah. I was like, come on. That's terrible. That's terrible. When you, when you can't even get a good guy to take a fall nowadays, you got to leave. You got to step away. Should at least paid, paid the man to take the fall and the hush money. Come on now. Yeah, I agree. Um, the PBC is back for another year and they're going to start cranking out their fights into our face here, uh, really quickly. Uh, I believe we've got, uh, DeGale versus Badu Jack. That's on Showtime though. Should That's the Showtime. Should I? Yeah, of course it's PBC on Showtime, but do I care? Yes, that's a good fight. That is a good fight. Really? They're in a division where the winner of that fight is probably going to be considered the man because... Really, Gilberto Ramirez has been away from the sport now with an injury for, I don't know, four or five months. He needs to make a comeback. But th- that, you know, Badu Jack has been, he's like the, he's the golden boy of, of um, TMT right now, Mayweather Promotions. He's the only one that has come out of Mayweather that's actually made a decent um, um, career. You know, he, he won a title. He defended that title, I believe, against Groves. And that was an excellent matchup. A lot of people thought Groves was going to win that fight, and Badu Jack wasted him. Um, then to Gale, I mean, he's just he's one of those uh, those uh, UK guys come over here. They they know how to fight. Hey, who did he just? He think he just defeated Lusan Boutte was his last um, um, defense. Um, just a, it, that's a good fight, Lee. That's a fight that's going to leave a very good opponent. For I think it's going to be boring. Triple G will be very. It's gonna be a boring. It's gonna be a boring fight, he's, Andrew. He's gonna. You and I both know this. I have the Gale winning that fight. I'm just. Yeah, by decision. By decision. Yes. That I hopefully stay awake for. <laughs> I think. I mean, I'm just being. I'm just being honest. I mean, I believe Triple G is gonna be very interested in that fight if he does. If he is making a move up, that is a great pit stop before he gets to light heavyweights. Holy crap! Is this for real, Prince Nassim Hamed? produced a boxing video that's circling around social media from a couple of days ago 
I don't know. He's in pretty good shape. He probably could go. I'd be...